Welcome to Catherine's Granny Squares. Today we're going to focus on the treble stitch. So that's a UK treble and in the US that would be a double crochet. Same stitch, just different terminology. So this is going to be demonstrated using a chunky yarn and I'm going to use a 7mm hook today rather than a 6mm. So just to show you before we start, this is what we're aiming for, this heightened stitch. It's very therapeutic when you're doing a treble because you feel like you've achieved an awful lot because of the heightened stitch. You feel your project's coming on fast, that's why I like it. So to start off with the treble, most patterns will tell you to go into the fourth chain or make three chains if you're on a new row because three chains is basically the height of a treble. So we'll do that now. We'll put the yarn over the hook and we'll go into the fourth chain. Lay the yarn over the hook and pull up a loop, giving you three loops on the hook now. Lay the yarn over the hook, pull through, leaving two, put the yarn over again and complete by pulling through the last two. That is your first treble. We'll go again, lay the yarn over, right into the next chain, lay the yarn over, pull up a loop, lay the yarn over, pull through two loops, leave in two, lay the yarn over and complete by pulling those two through. And again, lay the yarn over, we're going to the next chain, lay the yarn over, pull up a loop to give you three loops, lay the yarn over, pull through two, lay the yarn over and complete by pulling through the last two. Lay the yarn over, into the chain, Lay the yarn over, pull up a loop, three loops. Lay the yarn over, pull through two, lay the yarn over and complete by pulling through the last two. And there you have your nice heightened stitch. The three chains here would represent a treble in most patterns and you can see how that does give the same height. We'll just go to the end, lay the yarn over, into the chain, lay the yarn over, pull up a loop, three loops, lay the yarn over, pull through, two, lay the yarn over and complete by pulling through the last two. Lay the yarn over, into the chain, lay the yarn over, pull up a loop, lay the yarn over, pull through two, lay the yarn over and pull through the last two. Lay the yarn over, go into the next chain, lay the yarn over, pull up a loop, lay the yarn over, pull through two loops, lay the yarn over and complete by pulling through the last two. And there we have a little row of trebles. 
and what you would do at the end you would chain three turn the work and then you could go straight in to the next chain sorry stitch it is now because you've made a row of stitches into the next stitch because you've made a stitch it's not a chain anymore and you would carry on and you can have a little practice doing it that way and if you follow a pattern I would say a lot of the times they will say chain up three to represent a, a treble and you have to watch in patterns just a little tip sometimes the first chain of three will be counted as a treble or whichever stitch you're doing chain up two, chain up three, whichever stitch you're doing but just be careful to check in patterns that that is or is not counted as a stitch so you make your you don't make your stitch count go all wrong so I hope that's helped I hope you enjoy making trebles as much as I do and if you like my little videos if you would like to subscribe it doesn't cost anything and you'll be notified when I upload another video thank you for watching today just show you the bigger swatch again that's just the little sample we've just made thank you for watching Bye for now.